Hi, my name is Baby He. I am a curriculum developer at Oracle. In this demo, I will show you how to create and use a flex field in business process workspace. The default workspace only shows the task title, instance number, creator, assigned date, priority, and which process this instance belongs to. What if you want to display and query using costume attributes? For example, a due approver may not be interested in the details of a sales quote, but cares a lot about the total net revenue of a deal. He wants to display that revenue as a column and filter tasks based on the value of the revenue, as well as searching tasks with certain amounts of revenue. Human workflow mapped attributes, also called flex fields, can help him to do that. Because you can only map primitive type field as flex field, we will first create a new primitive task payload argument and map the total net revenue field to it. Then we will create the flag field label and map the new task payload argument to it. Last, we will use the flex field to query, sort, and filter codes. Let's start with the preparation. First, in BPM Studio, we add a new date object to the approved deal task payload. Because you can only map primitive type fields, we will create it with a data type of double. We will name it revenue. Do not select editable because we will not map this data object as an output parameter. Then, map the total net revenue field of the quote process data object to the revenue task payload argument. Because the quote request payload argument has a complex data type, we cannot use it to create a flex field. We need to pull out the value of the total net revenue from the quote process data object and map it to the revenue field we have just created so we can display it as a column later on. Save all the changes and redeploy this project. Next, we will first create the FlexView label and then map the human task payload to that label. Let's log into Business Process Workspace as WebLogic, the administrator. Click the Administration tab. From the Administration areas, select Public Flex Field to open the Flex Field Mapping Editor. Click Create Label. Because the revenue payload argument has a data type of double, we will select number attributes for the attribute type. Select the task attribute to which you want to apply the condition. Here, we accept the default one. Enter revenue as a label name. This will be the column name when you display the flex field in the workspace. Enter a description to remind us what this field represents and select currency as a format. Click Create. The label has been added. Now, we will map the human task payload argument to the label. Select Edit Mapping by Task Type, then click Select Task Type. Select the approved deal human task of the sales code process. Select Revenue as a payload attribute to map. Click Select Label in the Map Payload Attributes dialog, we choose the revenue label we just created. Save the changes. The flex field has been added. Let's take a look at how this application will look to the end user. Plug into the workspace as C. Dickens, the approver. Currently, if you want to examine the total net revenue for each quote, you need to click each task and view the details. The total net revenue for those four tasks are 5,020, 1,020, 10,020, and 15,020. Now, let's use the new flex field to enable us to search a quote based on its total net revenue. 
lists the total net revenue as a separate column, so we don't have to click each task to view the amount. And then, filter the quotes based on the total net revenue. First, let's search for quotes based on their total net revenue. Click Search Advanced. Currently, there is only one condition in the definition tab. Therefore, the match field is grayed out. Click Select a Task Type and choose Approved Deal Human Task. This condition ensuring only quotes of Approved Deal Human Tasks will be selected. Now, click Add Condition, Costume, and select Revenue, the flex field we have created. In the Value field, enter 10,020. You can choose other comparison operators from the drop-down list. For now, let's use the equals. From the match field, select all. It makes sure that only code matches both conditions will be selected. Click search, and the code with a total net revenue of 10,020 show up as a result. Next, let's display the revenue column for all approved deal tasks. To display the flex field as a column, you will first need to create a custom view. Click Add View. In the Definition tab, enter my custom view as a view name. Select Approved Deal Human Task from Select Task Type field. In the Display tab, shuffle the Revenue Flex field from the available columns to the selected columns. Click OK to close the Create User View dialog. From the My Views node, select My Custom View that we have just created. The Revenue Fields appears as a column in the inbox. You can also sort the quotes based on their revenue ascending or descending. Finally, let's filter quotes based on their total net revenue. Click Edit View. In the Definition tab, click Add Condition, Costume, and select Revenue. From the drop-down menu, select Greater Than, and in the Value field, enter 10 thousands. Click OK. Now, we have only two tasks showing up. They both have net revenue greater than 10,000. Hopefully, now you understand how to create a flex field and how to use the flex field to query, sort, and filter tasks. I'm Phoebe He. Thanks for watching.